Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this episode of Tech Tips, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple DJ system. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because there's going to be a lot more tech tips coming in future videos. And make sure you smash that like button. All right? So your friend asks you to DJ his party. You've been DJing in your bedroom, but now it's time to actually do a gig. Here is exactly what you need to get started. First thing you'll need is a mixer. I have a Behringer Xenix 502 here. A very basic, simple, five input mixer, but it does the job. You also need your DJ controller. There are a lot of other controllers on the market. I'm using a Newmark Mixtrack Pro 2 for demo purposes. You'll also need a microphone. This is an SM58 Shure microphone, quite possibly the most popular, most reliable microphone on the planet. But you can use any microphone, wired or wireless. You also need a computer. I'm using a MacBook Pro 2013 fully spec'd out with Serato DJ Pro as a software. Now, if you don't have a MacBook Pro, a Windows computer will do just fine. You need a speaker or speakers, all depending on how many people are at your party. Right here, I'm using a QSC K12 speaker for demo purposes. You need this cord. It's a dual RCA, dual quarter inch cord, and it's for connecting your controller into your mixer. Two XLRs, one is for the microphone and the other one is from the mixer to the speaker. And because my mains from the mixer are quarter inch, I have attached a quarter inch adapter into one of the XLRs. An IEC power cable for your speaker, a power bar to plug in all the power. Okay, so now it's time to start setting everything up. Before we deal with any power stuff, we're gonna set and plug everything that needs to be plugged in first. So first, I'm gonna plug in the included USB cord that came with the controller into the back of the controller, one side, and the other side goes into the USB of the computer. The wonderful thing about this controller is that it's USB powered. It doesn't need to be plugged in to any power source. It's powered by the computer. So, um, next thing to do is we're gonna plug in the controller into the mixer. So, we're gonna grab these dual RCAs. The outs on the MixTrack Pro are both RCAs. So, RCA red to red, yellow to white. And then the other side, the dual quarter inch side, we're gonna pick a channel. Um, let's go with two and three. So for the corresponding channels right here, line two and three are with red, uh, yellow with left. Okay, so that's set up and good to go. Next thing we're gonna connect is the microphone. So I got my Shure SM58 microphone with the switch here. I'm gonna connect one side and then the other side, I'm gonna connect it into the mic input, okay? Go. Next thing we gotta plug in is we're gonna connect the, uh, the mixer into the speaker. So because on this mixer the main outs are quarter inch, I have a quarter inch adapter attached to the XLR. So I'm gonna plug it into anyone, it doesn't really matter because we're only using one speaker. Plug into the left side. Just to let you guys know if you guys have another speaker, you can plug it into the other side and plug it into the speaker corresponding speaker. Okay, the other side, the other side of the X, XLR, we're gonna plug it in line B of the QSC K12. I think we're good. Now we're gonna deal with the power. So I'm gonna power up the speaker, grab the IEC cord, and put it in. Okay, uh, next I'm going to just power up the speaker. Okay, next I'm gonna grab the cord for the mixer. Since this mixer doesn't have a power button, I'm gonna plug it in and power it up with the included cord. There you go, blue means power. So we're all good now. 
Okay, now we're gonna deal with the levels here. First off, I'm gonna check the microphone. So I'm gonna raise the main mix halfway. Um, channel one, I'm gonna go up a third and then the gain on mic one, maybe a quarter of the way. On the actual speaker, I'm gonna turn it up to a third and then we're gonna check the mic if it actually works, okay? Check, 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 one, two, success. Perfect, the mic works. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna check our controller and see if we can get some music, okay? So, right now, I'm just gonna turn up the level. This is the connection for the controller. And I'm just gonna turn it up to a third. Let's do a third. Okay. So, I'm just gonna check if it works. Okay, I'm gonna turn up the volume, the master gain, and then this side because the song's loaded on this deck. I'm gonna play it. There you go. And we're all set up. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you found value in this video, if you got something from it, please smash that like button. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do. And if you think someone can benefit from this video, please share it, all right? Many, many more tech tips coming in future videos. So stay tuned for those. We'll see you again. DJ9 signing off. Later.